Uh, I wanted to do a video to kind of summarize everything, kind of go through what all I did and then kind of costs associated with it in case anybody's thinking about doing their own. Um, so I guess cost first, I kind of got everything. We'd done this the other day and I just hadn't written it down. I just done it in my head, you know, so, uh, paid a thousand bucks for the tractor. It had a 263 gas head gasket was out of it. Um, cross hatching in the liners wasn't bad, but it really wasn't worth messing with either. So, and I, I, I bought the tractor for this purpose to swap it. Uh, had wanted to do it for a while, so it made sense. Um, and the sheet metal was pretty straight on it. Fenders were a little rough, but other than that, rims were rusted out on the back. It was a pretty straight, clean tractor. Um, got it locally here from a good friend and neighbor. So that was that. The engine was uh, 1500. I got that on an online auction. Um, it's a 93, I believe. And it came out of a like an 854 Rogator. Um, about an hour away, a guy that uh, buys junk ones and disassembles them pretty much and pieces them out. So it helped that uh, it came out of an ag platform because the exhaust manifold on like an automotive platform or even industrial, I'm not sure is if that's right or not, but with the way it outlets the turbo. So it would have been a lot more costly to use out of a pickup or something similar like that because I would have had to change the exhaust manifold. I think Ed mentioned a couple other things that might have needed changed also if, uh, if it didn't. So coming out of ag use made it easier so I would look for that if it's something you're considering doing. Um, this had a loader on it before I bought it. And so they had acid in the rear ends. So the rims were completely shot. So we ended up getting new rims. That was basically a thousand bucks by the time we got them swapped from the old rims to these. So that was... I mean, an avoidable expense, I guess you could say. Uh, front tires, the one was shot, and so I just wanted them to match. So that ended up being about 600 bucks. Then uh, fuel tank was 500. Have a really good radiator shop nearby, and he cut the front, cut it out, and welded it back together and then coated it. Um, did a really good job. So he had a lot of time in that, unfortunately. So that ended up being about 500 bucks. Then the, uh, I got my parts as far as new clutch and pressure plate out of a 1066, the uh, adapter plate, tack drive. Oh boy. What else? See it, Joel. There we go. The engine mount kit, the throttle kit, and then we also got the radiator from them. Uh, my radiator was shot. I could have reused it had it not been bad, but it was. So that ended up right around 4000 everything through uh, Lehman's Tractor Parts. Um, if you're interested in doing this, talk to Ed Lehman. He's a great guy. Uh, he'll help you out. They carry about everything for these and uh, he'll be able to point you in the right direction or get you what you need. Um, that pretty much ends the expensive stuff. Paint, 750. Um, I had a buddy did all the sheet metal. He does automotive work. Um, but I prepped it all. So pretty much I just took it to him and he painted it. Uh, the frame and everything else you guys saw in other videos. I did that myself 
and I got all the supplies from him. So that's why it's a lot cheaper if you were gonna have somebody else paint it. Look out. Um, had to get a starter out of a 706 diesel. The gas isn't torquey enough and it's the wrong tooth count also when we went to the 1066 flywheel. So just got that out of a junkyard, 150 bucks. They're actually pretty expensive. Uh, remanufactured was gonna be darn near 500, I think, so. Um, I've got Summit Racing, which would be all the intake pipes and stuff like that, and boots. Um, that came out to 300 bucks, I think. And then, same for Napa, we ended up like 500 bucks, I think. Same deal, serpentine belt, coolant hoses, uh, battery, just all the wiring stuff, new lights, put the LED lights on. So that stuff added up a little bit, but uh, so that's kind of where we ended up, I guess. Um, 10750 and I mean it could probably be either way of that but but obviously if you didn't want to paint it didn't need to do tires didn't need to do rims you could really get into this project for decently cheap um, this is mainly just gonna be a farm tractor uh, it won't get a lot of heavy use it'll run an auger in the fall um, maybe a mower in the summer but it won't be used a bunch. I've just always wanted to do the conversion and the pieces finally came together to do that. So it was uh, time. As far as time spent on it, oh, too many hours, but uh, it was worth it. It's really rewarding having a, a good tractor. Um, pretty much gone through head to toe and, and it's ready to roll ready to work so i guess uh that about does it thanks for watching if you have more questions throw them in the comments i'll do my best to answer them if you're thinking about doing it put that in the comments too and uh or drop me an email uh, i can do my best to help you out i definitely don't know everything about it but we definitely learned a lot too in the process so but uh, once again, Lehman's Tractor Parts, Ed Lehman, he's done lots of these. And so he's got all the stuff and uh, he'll help you out for sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.